like you play all games as an immersive experience, but like you can just put on music that you enjoy for most games and it's not going to make too much of a difference whether you're listening to in-game music or something on your Spotify. Like I'm sure despite having a soundtrack, a lot of people mute League's audio and listen to Spotify. How many cards that I have aren't made for URCG? All of them? You can go to the deck builder and count them. It's like... I want to say it's around the 100 or so. And then there's some tokens too. Did I get 77 for that second? That's crazy. Appreciate the Dawn. I played the Dawn in a YCS in 2010. <laughs> I do appreciate the Dawn. I guess it was an SGC, but same idea. What's the turnaround for my artist like? Uh, every week I got like three or four pieces. It was a long process, but I was working on other stuff while the art was coming in. I had placeholders for everything. There were people playtesting with the placeholder arts. But yeah, really happy with how everything looks. Actually really happy with how the project turned out overall. Sort of satisfied with the UI. The deck builder works. The tournament platform works. <laughs> More than I can say about some other games that I've played. Uh, I want these woggles and no one can stop me. Why not put it on Steam? Eh. I don't know. It wasn't really enough interest. It doesn't generate any revenue. It's just kind of there. Isn't it better to have it in the browser than on Steam? I don't know. Don't have to install anything. Uh, I think Sharebear is probably like a top five-ish leader. Sharebear is very good. He's very similar to Cursed King though. Turn one makes a big difference. Yeah, it can. A lot of the time, Cursed King's plus one gold, though, is just you take three damage. I guess not a lot of the time, but sometimes. Uh, yeah, I've worked on some other stuff in the meantime, but I always get to the point where I have to build a UI and decide, fuck that, I'm not doing all that work. And... There have been like two projects that have like kind of cool backends associated with them, but fuck if I'm doing more UI work. I've got a backend for a card game where cards are sort of like Diablo items rather than sets that are handcrafted. That was a cool project to work on until <laughs> until the front end work started. And oh my god, front end work sucks. Seven, Hemzy. Cookbook versus Sling. Saves two of my units from Falling Stars. Moment you were 
work on automating some programming tasks. You start to question your existence until it finally works. Yeah, I don't mind the automation part of things. I've done a lot of automation work. I mean, you can do your job, and then you're like sitting in a chair and doing office work. Run into the fun stuff for you. That's good. Yeah, it is a neat concept. It's just uh, a lot of work. absolutely no idea what my direction is this game. I have a sure shot in position three. This is great. This is the way Storybook Brawl was meant to be played. Not saving polys for 4.0? No, why would I do that when level four units are so good to get early? <laughs> All the scalings at level 4. You cheat at a level 5 unit, you get what? Aeon or Lance is the dream? Does anything else matter? Everything else is just like... Mid-tempo. Level 4s though. Oh my god, you can get an Arthur, you can get a Heartwood Elder, Riverwish Mermaid. You can start growing your Court Wizards. You can get Feasting Dragon, Chupacabra. I mean, Baba's good now. We don't get it, but it would have been good now. Tim Hortons was bad now. We started getting some in New Jersey. I haven't been to one yet. Switch Short Shot and Crafty. Oh. Yeah, I should probably do that. Oh shit, I forgot to take the break in an hour. This is gonna happen at one hour every time. People are gonna get ads because I forget to run the break between games. I'm so used to not taking a break at one hour. Sorry, everybody who just got ads. Are you telling me that I can triple Feasting Dragon? Is that a thing? Is that legal? Is that legal? We're feasting? Next turn we get Baba? The dream? The one people redeem. Finally. It is cute. It's a feast boy game. I don't know what this is yet. Look, all I'll say is if you care about the quality of your coffee, you should probably just brew your own coffee. It's not that hard. Or maybe go to a real coffee shop instead of a, a chain. But really, just brew your own coffee. It's not that hard. If you don't care about the quality of your coffee, but anywhere is probably good enough, because everywhere is going to have some caffeine in it.
Well, if you don't drink coffee, then this doesn't matter. But it's fine. I'm not gonna judge you for not drinking coffee. That's not what this conversation's about. So if you care about the quality of your coffee, either brew your own coffee or go to a real coffee shop. If you don't care about the quality of your coffee and just want some caffeine, then McDonald's or Tim Hortons or whatever is probably good enough for you. No, it's not hard. It's not hard at all. I don't know who started the myth that brewing a cup of coffee well is hard. But they were probably high on something other than caffeine. gonna get a yorm! Or more realistically, a chicken. Look at that cheap instant black coffee. If that's good enough for you, that's good enough for you. I'm not gonna judge. It's probably got caffeine. Not hard, or does it matter where you go? Quality of ingredients. Also, some companies brew it just way too hot to get the smell through the stores so you buy coffee. Just because it's not hard doesn't mean everyone's going to do it right. Like, it's McDonald's that brews it at way hotter than they should brew it at. To just disperse the smell through the store, right? Hey, chocolate Drink wasted. High. Thanks for the prime. Thanks for the three months. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But as far as I'm aware, caffeine extraction is still the same. It's just the flavor is different. Forget that, yeah. I will not. I mean, yeah, everyone's opinion on what a good cup is is different. I used to drink Fresh Press all the time, now I just do a V60. They don't sell the burn batches? What? Yes, they do. That's where the smell is coming from. I guess we'll see. I get a pumpa. It's not bad. Uh, just remember that I have a hand of Midas. Yeah, just so much work to clean up a French press. That's the big thing that made me stop. I just, I can make a V60 in like five minutes. Really one minute of work, four minutes is boiling the water. <laughs> Chill with water, dump it down the sink. That's terrible for your pipes though. You don't want to dump coffee grounds in the sink. I got an air press for my birthday. I've used it a couple times. Uh, I don't know. I just like the V60 more. A water boiler. I mean, I have an electric kettle. It's fine. Glad I didn't spend the gold buffing my elm. Because then I wouldn't have the gold to do this! Those are unpopular. Yeah, because like, tea isn't that popular. And a lot of the way people make coffee is just in a coffee machine, so you don't need to boil water. Most people just have no reason to have an electric kettle. Like, I only use it for coffee or tea. Starbucks. I mean, you can get regular coffee from Starbucks. You don't have to get one of their, like, 
I don't even know what they call them. Frappuccinos. I <laughs> extremely the oatmeal. That's true, that's true. When I have oatmeal, I use my kettle. But I just very rarely have oatmeal. We're getting the feaster out of play. Sure. Well, I guess I'm against a ghost. I could try one more turn of feasting. But this was the Yorm board that ate me last time. I don't really want to get eaten by the Yorm board again. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had. Starbucks in a long time. I don't know what they do to their beans. I don't know how you get water out of their super complicated drinks. When I was in high school, I used to drink some of the more sugary ones. Not regularly, but from time to time. They're a nice summer drink, but they are just sugar. Sort of like getting a milkshake. How much is a roll for a Lockworth in terms of gold? Uh, so whenever you lock the shop, you're basically losing a gold, because you're losing out on that roll. It's not worth zero, no, but I don't know how you would necessarily quantify it. It would vary depending on how many hits you have, right? The more likely you want to lock the shop, the less valuable it is, the more valuable it is. I don't know, I can't think about it right now. But it's definitely not consistent. Roll equity is... How do you even quantify roll equity? Is that just decoupled from gold entirely? Because, like, a roll is always worth one gold. A spell for possible knighthood? Uh... No, I didn't want to risk a free roll. It's a good boy board and a dwarf board. I will take a Phoenix Feather. track with zero misses it's wasting a gold to roll a lock but at the same time you're wasting a gold to lock but you're also not losing anything by locking because every shop is equally valuable right so the roll just becomes worthless there's no roll value one gold would have done something you wasted the gold by rolling yeah it's just the value of a roll isn't necessarily quantified in gold. I want to say that's true. And quantify on average. I guess sometimes you would say, hmm, kind of depends what your current shop is then too. I don't know, I would have to really think about this. I 
figure out. Yeah, but does that come back to gold at all? Like, if your current shop doesn't improve your board, what is a roll worth? You can always pay one gold for it. The upside is infinite. Because the current shop does nothing for you, but the next shop could do something. There's no point in not rolling. Like, if your current shop doesn't do anything for you, and the roll button costs six gold, you would still click it. Instead of no, I think I just want the extra tree for more attack. She never. Yeah, I just think that I don't know if you can necessarily measure it in gold. Because if your current shop doesn't improve the board, there's no amount of gold you wouldn't spend to roll the shop. Open one better than Apple. I don't think so. Apple could get the good boy, so he doesn't have health on his board. That's a problem. Piggy bank. Piggy bank is a messed up treasure when it's good for sure. Piggy bank super strong. <laughs> 